Worldwide News Service, Truth and Broadcasting, your source for unbiased media. We're here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with Geshe Pende, who is a Tibetan monk. And what I would like to ask you about is the Chinese incursion into Tibet. What does it mean for your culture? What has it done? And where do you see it going? Yeah, uh, one of the, uh, the biggest the problem is when the Chinese take over Tibet, they're really destroying our culture, our religions, our identities, or even our language everything you know it's it's day by day it's going to decline and this is one of today it's very danger and this very rich profound culture and religion it will be going to be disappear one day it's going to be almost going to be lost there therefore this is the one biggest concern about the tibetan people you know who real uh ski about now we're going to lose that Therefore, when the Chinese come, then now today, external materials, it's growing. You know, they have nice roads, they build so many roads, they build lots of buildings. It's good, they have so many good material things are growing. But that's the not developing Tibet. Tibet, Tibet to make develop, satisfies Tibetan people doesn't mean external material. Satisfaction comes from six million Tibetan, what they wanted. They wanted their own religion, their culture, their language, they want to save that. At that point, Chinese completely decline and ignore it. Therefore, they don't understand what the six million Tibetan people wanted. Therefore, first, better to this, the leader can understand what the six million of Tibetan people wanted. And to develop Tibet, it's not only external material, it's to save, to uh, develop those Tibetan culture to save the cultures and develop the Tibetan religions and language, you know, help on that way. And that will give Tibetan people satisfaction. Therefore, that's the one big concern uh, uh, Tibetan people has. So what do you, you, you place a high importance on individuality um, and your own identity. And do you feel it like when something like this happens, it's basically kind of communism where you end up with one monolithic culture, one thing for everybody. Yeah. What's the dangers in that? That's the one communist thing. Maybe, you know, I'm not sure what the main point. Maybe their concern is if there's only one culture, they think that will give all Chinese stay in one. That's what they're thinking. But it's not comes reality because culture or religion is like a food. Therefore, food you can say everybody have to eat Chinese food or everybody have to accept something Italian food. You can't say that because there's so many like different variety peoples there and each people has different body, different brain, different choice. Therefore the purpose of food is to make first makes them delicious. Second thing is suitable for their health healthy and still survive. That's the purpose. There was sometimes Chinese food very much helped to somebody else. But sometimes that Chinese food, some people, maybe they hurt. They don't like the health problem. They will create the problems. Therefore, you can say you have to accept that food. That's the real sort of uh, very selfish decision. But I can understand their motivations try to make everything unity. But it's not going to work because themselves, the leader themselves, you can say every day you have to eat rice. I think those leaders, every day they're eating different foods every right. day. Right. And they have to realize, oh, one food can't. Maybe this good for my next leader, but for me, I want more that. Right. You have to learn that. That's the way the Tibet, like a culture, it's religion. It's all about same like that. Right. The purpose of culture and religion is to make the, the person to survive with the harmony, with the peace, with the happiness, that's the purpose. There was some kind of philosophy, religion, maybe not suitable. There were, you have to accept all the variety cultures and religions 
give them completely freedom, support it, that will give real harmony. But they don't see that way. Yeah, that's the right. communist, you know, don't see it. It's only what they want. Communist doctrine. And uh, having your own individuality, uh, and when I say your own individuality, it means your own identity as a people. Yeah is very important around the globe. Yeah. And we see culture basically being destroyed in a lot of areas to bring in yeah. one culture. Yeah. And that culture to me is kind of bland. Yeah. And as yeah. we're sitting here in an art museum and you look around, I get to see different art from different cultures. Yeah. That's exciting. Yes. When I go to different areas, I get to taste different cuisines. Yes. I get to indulge in different uh, practices. Yeah. Yeah. How boring it will be if everything's one. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that's the real, the communist thought is just everything which we want. And it's impossible because they don't learn themselves. Even themselves, some people like smoke. Maybe some leaders smoking, some leaders don't like smoke. And you can't say, no, no, you are not allowed to, everybody have to smoke. You can't say that. They have, it's the different, you know, they, what they want, the food and everything like different. Therefore, they don't see on that way. Right. But to solve that problem, only they think it's war, but the Tibetan, we say, to solve this problem, we have to sit each other, respect each other, and talk right. each other. And that's the only way to solve the problem. Right. But Tibetan the, uh, leaders, exile, they try, they want to sit with the Chinese leader and talk to them what's our problem, what we need, and we, what they wanted, discussed. But that Chinese refused. I think there's a, a lot to be said about respect, yeah. and it's respecting another's rights. Yeah. And where you start to infringe on their rights, we now have problems. Yeah. And I think also, and I would like to get your opinion on this, as these cultures become diluted, as do you think that that's going to build an inner frustration inside people? Because they're not be able to experience their own culture and their own ways, yeah. they're forced into something else. Yeah, yeah that makes a real frustration. For instance, if I told the Chinese leaders say, you have to wear Tibetan monk's robe. Makes them real frustration. Right. They have to think about that same, to tell other people you have to wear this, you have to do this, makes them frustration. You right. can't force like that. Therefore, they have to learn for themselves, right? It makes them frustration, then same, these are the human being. Therefore, we have to respect for their freedom. We have to respect for their right. That's, you know, it doesn't mean I want it. That doesn't mean they have to follow that. They will don't see on that way. That's the fundamental, our problems comes from that way. Too much selfish, too much greedy, too much power. And that's, that's the way. Don't want to listen what they want to do it. Right. And then you try, try, you never ever solve the problem. Like Tibetan, the fundamental, our belief is love and compassion to all beings. Therefore. The Tibetan peoples are fighting in Tibet. It's very difficult, very skillful, but they're fighting out of non-violent. Even, you know, they call self-immolation. You know, the people are dying, but they don't want to harm the other. Nobody wants to die that. It's, it's, it's very difficult, very sad, but right. they're doing these things because they are too much suffering. It's like a hell rip. It's too much suffering, nobody listening, nobody, you know, helping. And that's the only thing now we can, we can offer my life to awareness those Tibetan people, six million Tibetan people who are suffering in Tibet to try to hold, please see and understand. But that's the way now from 2009 to till today, I think there's 17 or something people, you know, who did that self-immolation. It's, it's a very, very sad story. Well, we hope that uh, we can help to bring awareness to the situation. I do believe in everybody's right to identity and their right to culture, yeah. and I think that is a road to peace, yes. is for them to be left alone in their cultures yeah. and not have something pushed upon them. Yeah. So and the one important thing is Tibetan exile. They're not seeking independent Tibet. You know, they, His Holiness every time saying, we are staying under the Chinese government, but we need meaningful autonomies and you know, the freedom, that kind of things. Right. We need that kind of, but they're not, we're not, not seeking completely separate from you know, China. Therefore, this Chinese leader should be, they have to understand what they're looking. It's not com completely separate. They're staying under the China, but we only want is freedom of religion, freedom of speech, you know, 
and save our own culture and tradition. That's the main point they're looking at. I think that's what the average person wants around the world. Yeah. Right? Yes. To raise their family in peace, yes. have freedom of speech, yes. freedom of religion. I think that's what we all want. I think it's yeah. the top level that kind of imposes the rest upon us. Yes, yes, right. that's true. Even one individual wants to stay freedom. Right. And if they have no freedom, that means you have prison, whatever beautiful houses there. If you're no free, right. and that means you're, you're like a prisoner, right? It's, it's sort of suffering there. Therefore, freedom thing is fundamental. Whole human beings, you know, they're looking at freedom. It's free religion, whatever you want to do free your own food, your language, everything. Well, we wish you luck. This is Jerry Dalton from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the Worldwide News Service.